Well, hello there, Dukla here, and today I'm playing Sky Shines Bedlam Redux. Um, I didn't play the first one, if there was a first one. I don't know why it's called Redux. Um, I don't think... Maybe the game is called Redux. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know why it says it there. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a cool game. I got it on sale for like two bucks. Um, so yeah, I haven't done super well in it at any point. It's a pretty hard game. It kind of reminds me of Oregon Trail and like a kind of like an XCOM maybe because you have like these characters anyway. Um, so here we go. We're on the the starting kind of loadout. Choose your your sort of stuff thing. Um, so yeah, there's um, a story and everything. Watch, I'll show you. Uh, so the legendary dozer was constructed by the Mechanics Guild. Bone Shaker was long believed lost to the hazards of Bedlam until Byzantine Tycoon Rasputin Lazarus discovered the ancient wreckage and rebuilt this incredible rolling fortress. So there's other ones that I guess you can unlock. Um, I've only ever seen the mutant one once before. Um, and I didn't, like, capture it or anything. I'm not really sure how you do that. Um, here's the total number of people you're carrying the day, how much uh, crude you have, your meat, and then your kind of like bonus uh, power up level -y kind of points. Um, I've started before with the 14 rookies and the one elite, one veteran, seven rookies. Um, I think I'll go with the three veterans and eight rookies. And you can choose from the different factions, so marauders, mutants, humans, cyborgs, rogue AI, or a crew could be a mix of all five. I like going for the mix, because it just gives you a bunch of different characters, which is cool. Um, and we have these two weapons and these two equalizers on our on our vehicle to begin with. We're going to go with normal. I haven't played easy. Uh, maybe I probably should, but we're going to go with normal. Centuries from now, long after the barren age has passed, civilization prevails in the overcrowded metropolis of Byzantine. A technological marvel, held prisoner by the twisted wastelands of Bedlam, the result of humanity's race to oblivion. A domain of chaos and endless perils. Ruthless marauders, rogue AI, toxic mutants, deadly cyborgs. But there is new hope discovered in Bedlam. A mythical utopia called Aztec City, and a magnificent rolling fortress, operated by a mysterious figure known only as the Mechanic. The expedition from Byzantine will be filled with danger. If you have the courage, attempt to survive this journey into Bedlam! So there we go. That's the intro with all the backstory and everything you kind of need to know. Um, as you make final preparations for your journey into Bedlam, you're approached by Rasputin Lazarus, the guy who funded the reconstruction. And, uh, as a last known survivor, the mechanic skilled it. Therefore, falls upon you to complete and carry on their mission. Go Bedlam. With prolonged clatter, the city's formidable Omnium Alloy Barricades slowly part, and the Dozer forges ahead into the dreaded wastelands of Bedlam. So yeah, here we go. Mechanic, you must recover the four relics and bring them to Aztec City. To start traveling, select one of the... Okay, okay so... Here, um, there's a lovely screen here that just gives you all the information. It's laid right out in front of you. So here's, um, the top ones are resource deposits. So we're definitely going to want to head for one of these, especially the energy ones early on, because they're very important. Because um, if you go into one of these boss battles or one of these battles for an objective and you don't have a lot of these energy cells, you can't use your OP fucking weapons and all your people will get killed... Quite quickly. Um, that being said, I like to use my um, starting points to upgrade these things. I don't think there's a point in upgrading the barracks at all, so I don't. Um, so I just like to give these, just waste all my points on these, uh, getting these things lowered. I don't know if you really need to lower these two, but, um, and I haven't had much trouble finding resources. Um, but anyway, we're going to go into Cordite because I want to go for the. Um, into Smog Hollow to go for the the energies there. So we'll just start traveling. 
There we go. Okay. The Colossal Dozer slowly trundles through the superstructure arteries of Byzantine, escorted by law regulars and flanked by an army of prominent now beam broadcasters, projecting the vehicle's impressive image across the surrounding Goliatron screens. Byzantine has been energized and excitement since Lazarus announced his plan to cross Bedlam seeking the mythical Aztec city, although most citizens' involvement extends to simply wagering on the expedition's survival odds. The Outer Barricades part of the Dozer begins its journey into the malevolent wasteland beyond the walls. Okay. I'm just gonna continue traveling. It gives you a cost of time, days, and and all that shit. Um, so here we go. Uh, how many times am I gonna say that? Okay, here we go. As Dover travels along the road, you find a dense vegetation in every direction. The exotic jungle life has large, amber-colored objects, each bigger than a human head, glowing at the base of an undulating vine. It is possibly there's some kind of edible gourds. Okay. Passengers just back and collect a sample and sample the foreign fruit, proclaiming that it has a similar consistency to meat, but tastes much better. They seem to experience no ill effects. Finally, no, an economical way to replenish your food stock, passengers gather as much of the strange meat fruit they can carry and scurry back to the dozer. So there's our outcome, we got some meat. Great. These are like side missions, generally worth going for, just because. While the crew explores the area, a group of panicked nomads suddenly rush towards you from the direction of a nearby tech platform. Their clothes are tattered and they seem to have suffered injuries from energy weapons. They dash past the crew and scamper across the crimson dunes. One wounded nomad shouts back over his shoulder. The hollows are up there! Hearts are full! Beware the hollows! Additional interrent meat forms! It iterrent? Iterrent? Access denied! This area not cleared for carbon beings! Engage extinction protocols! Boop. Alrighty, so here we go on a loadout screen. We're gonna just take everybody out here. Um, so you have four classes of people. Dead Eyes, which are like snipers. Um, they sometimes have different weapons, but they're generally kind of a long-range shooterman. Front lines are guys with like a, uh, like a melee weapon and a shield. They're quite useful. Uh, gunslingers are people that have like, like double weapons, like, you know, cowboys. And they have a cool ability where once, if they get shot, on a turn, they automatically shoot back at the person, so they're quite deadly. Um, and trenchers are people with shotguns. I would say they're probably the least useful of the three of these classes. Um, and these ones that have the regular gray around their portrait are just rookies. These guys are veterans, because they have the stripes. And if we had any elites, they would be a gold color. So we're gonna take... Um, we're not gonna take a veteran, because we want to save veterans. Um, for when we get in trouble. We're gonna take Frontliner. These two guys look the same. We'll take a Gunslinger and a Trencher. Just gotta get them even out. So every three kills they level up, basically. Um, and there's no, uh, no, you know, nothing more difficult than that, really. Just, uh, try to get them three kills and they level up. You can try to feed people kills. It's kind of hard. Anyway, you'll see. This is where it gets a turn basey. The controls, I already know what I'm doing, don't worry. So here are enemies, a couple robots that are pretty low level. We're just gonna run up here. The cover gives you a bonus, I'm not sure how much of a bonus it gives you, but it's some kind of bonus, uh, so there you go. You can't shoot past your own people, so it's uh, something you gotta remember. Okay, some useless moves from the AI there. We're just gonna walk up and smack him a little bit. And maybe we can finish him off like this. Easily dead. We can't quite get in within range of this guy. So you can see these are this is where I can move within these squares. And then the red is the zone that they can shoot into. Um, so you want to get them... You know, so they can be set up. I think I'll probably just stay where I am. Actually, I'll move forward one. Ooh. And... it's a good shot. So who got that last kill? <coughs> Pardon me, my voice is already going. The shotgun guys. We'll try to feed him another kill here. There we go. He's got two. Triumph, King Vesera underestimated. Your strength threat level has increased. Units compromised. Initiating request for support. Boop. <laughs> Fucking robots. That'll teach him. I'm just gonna go for another side quest here. Uh, crew discovers a gargantuan crater in the Earth. The surface of the entire area has turned into uneven cobalt crystals, a site possibly caused by the detonation of a powerful fusion device, war device from ages past. 
Um, at the bottom of the expansion pit is an encampment of nomads. The crew slowly and carefully makes their way down the rough surface into the deep crater. As they draw closer to the camp, they can see there's a large hole in the ground at the base of the crater, and the nomads have constructed a rudimentary well at the hole and are cranking out containers of precious crude from the breach and crust. There are dozens of full barrels in a nearby tent. The leader of the nomad watches you approach. The others regard them nervously. Greetings to you, intrepids. As you can see, we have staked claim to the drain, but there is so much truth, so much... More than we could ever carry or haggle, you're welcome to carry whatever you can haul. Alright. Use it wisely, good fortune to you out there! Okay. Man, 126 barrels of fucking crude. I didn't even think they bothered to refine fuel in this, it's just straight up burning oil. Super inefficient. That's alright. While exploring a rocky ravine, the crew discovers the ruins of a gigantic war galleon, likely using some ancient skirmish when mighty rivers ran through the terrain. The vessel is barely intact, and decaying shell only serves as a home for skittering vermin. The crew cautiously enters the wreck through a gap in the corroded hull and makes their way to the ship's turbine compartment. Most of the equipment is useless, but they uncover a rack of fusion batteries. Ah, yeah. Fantastic power cells. Ooh, absolutely fantastic. The dozer comes to a halt. All the equipment is still functioning, but the vehicle can't move. The vehicle is caught in an AI stasis dragnet. Moments later, the fizzle of quantum tri transmigration can be heard as several rogue AI units appear on the other side of the dozer. Error! Soft machines have corrupted integrity of external matrix. Procedure, transmigration, and termination. Rogue AI units have boarded the dozer. Defend at all costs. Okay, so this is like a you better fucking win or you fucked. Uh, so where was that? This was the shotgun? person trencher so we want to keep the trencher in we'll put in our our veteran snipers and I uh, well I, uh, I guess we'll put this gunslinger back in okay boop 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 so this game does not have a very good rating on steam I don't know why it's Plenty cool of a game, but I also did only pay two dollars or something for it, so maybe some people are n unhappy about that. Quite possibly. Um, so yeah, let me uh, explain the other shit we have in here. So here you can see these cost power cells, um, and this is like a bomb that when you drop it, it'll kill everything that's like within range. It's like super OP, um, and that's why they're called equalizers because there's some battles that you just straight up can't win, um, even with like really high leveled up guys so and this guy is just gonna drop something on us which I don't know if we'll be able to escape oh we can I'm just gonna run out like this take that you bitch that's him dead now can we get out and shoot at him that is a question I would like to have the answer to Not really, but we'll just go over here then. And, and. So that guy killed his friend. <laughs> and we won. Attention meat forms, enjoy trans transitory exolution, exhalation. God, this game makes me feel stupid. I can't read. I got a lot of food and shit off them. So that wasn't too bad. So we got some more side missions, but I'm feeling okay with what we've got right now. Uh... A crawl. It would seem the vehicle has driven into a pool of adhesive mucus that is now preventing forward motion. Suddenly ambushed by members of a hostile faction. Fuck. Well, shit. We're gonna take this guy. I like this person, Sectorus v Five. That's quite a good name. We've got our trencher. We can get our good. Was this our gunslinger that we used before? We'll get this guy. Whoop this guy. Okay. We want to try to level people up um, as best we can. At least I think that's what you want to do. I've never really gotten past like two or three districts on the map before, so uh, maybe we'll get further this time. I don't know. Now there's these explosive barrels which are really fucking dangerous. This is also a really long map. Come on down here, feller. Hopefully these dummies will run right up to this barrel. That guy is within range to actually... Wow, that was very stupid of them. If I can, uh... No, I can't, I can't reach, but... They could have... Really got themselves into trouble there. If I had somebody within range. There. Put 
this guy here. You can't get much closer than that. Okay. So that guy's gonna shotgun me like a rude bastard. That guy got confused or whatever, so he couldn't shoot. Can I not? Oh, I gotta walk forward. Here we go. There we go. And oh, I can shoot from here. Excellent. I would like to go. Actually, can you shoot at him first? One damage? God. Oop. There we are. Bam! Oh, he's dead. Oh, well. Oh. There, she killed him on the reaction fire. That's why gunslingers are quite good. There we go. Choke on him! We'll murderize you later, scuzzers. What a- what a fucking guy. Who talks like that? Alright, we're gonna head to Dunder. So we lost our shotgun guy that we were trying to level up, but that's alright, because he sucks. Um, oh, we got- we drove into the mucus again. Fuck, Christ. God, who's driving this fucking thing? Pay more attention. Oh, God. Let's get it. Let's do double frontliners, why not? Why not? Did I, um, am I being boarded? I don't think so. I think I'm just, just outside. Yeah, okay. Just outside. Ah! Ah! So it sucks that I'm fighting shotgun guys with, um, with shield dudes. Because if you were fighting, um, like, snipers and stuff, and you just had shields, the, sh the guy will have to step and run away from you every time before he can actually fire. So that's quite a useful... Thing. There's definitely everything definitely has a counter, um, but I just haven't really experimented enough to find them. Can I uh, see so if that guy wasn't blocking him? I could have shot him, but I fucked it up. There. Okay. Oh. And boom. Murdered. So now we need to step back. And this should be the sealer. There we go. King Vishra are gonna collect our heads for this failure. Yeah, he is. Fucking scum. Scummy bitch. So let's go for a uh, side objective. As the crew explores the area, they encounter a bedlam denizen dragging a wheeled cart loaded with various goods he wanders the terrain. Approach the wanderer. Greetings to you travelers. Off to haggle the hearts of the hallows. Cracked their skulls and plucked them out myself. Interested in haggle? Trade meat. Not really. Trade crude for power. Trade meat for power. I don't need either of those things right now. I'm quite happy with what I've got. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Let's go over here and see if this is these power cells are well defended. You located the wreckage of what appears to be a, a large orbiting space station, plummeted to the surface long ago, now half buried in the blackened sands. Judging by the skeletal fragments the crew finds inside the mangled frame, it was also manned. All the station's equipment is demolished beyond repair, but an extensive search on the twisted metal structure yields positive results. Several functioning power cells are found among the debris. 35? God damn it, that's pretty good. Okay, let's upgrade something here. We're gonna upgrade this. There we go. So we've f completely upgraded our equalizers, and we have 42 um, power cells left. That's, that is fucking great. Let me tell you, that is great. Because now, when we get into combat with somebody, all we have to do is drop a big nuke on them and kill them. Those are slow to halt as you disembark. Mutant nomads. A nomad leader approaches, gazing at the dozer in awe. By Terragon's tangled tails, that be a mighty beast. This tribe would owe a debt of blood for a chance inside its belly away from the big chaos. I made him Jamaican at the end. Invite the nomads into the dozer. Thousand grats to ya, 
Ma Star. No matter what the other tribe chiefs pick, your thin skin's got moments oh knowable. Okay. The new mutant nomads file into the open dozer bay. However, moments later, an altercation breaks out as the current passengers are reluctant to share space in the dozer with any mutants of Bedlam. Within moments, a full-blown riot erupts between the humans and mutants. By the time your security team gets them under control, there are a large number of casualties, including all the mutants you've just allowed on board. Once orders finally restored, the dozer continues down the road. How many people died? 65 people died. <laughs> okay, well, sorry about that. Uh, if you guys weren't such racist, while exploring the area, the crew notices a strange hill in the distance. On closer inspection, the hill's an enormous juggernaut roach half buried in the wasteland dust with overgrown mutated fauna. So I've seen this before. Um, and uh, a pulsated troglite skitters away in fright. Bedlam Verm enters a dead juggernaut roach by its terrifying mandibles slipping through the orifice to hide somewhere inside the monstrosity. So when I did this the last time, I entered through the mouth. I'm going to cut through the shell just to see if it gives me anything different. The crew's fusion torches barely make a scorch mark on the mutated creature's hardened carapace. They won't be getting inside the juggernaut roach this way. Okay, well, I guess you got to go through the mouth. Squeezing through the creature's narrow mouth, the orifice is still sticky and phlegm despite laying dormant for ages. Processing further... Processing? Pressing further through the moist tube, ugh, they enter a hollow chamber that has become home to a nest of troglopods. The vermin attempt to mount an attack on the intruders of their adopted home, but their crew's weaponry transformed them into a splattered mess. Descending deeper in the bells of the great beast, your attention is drawn on the spherical glow of fusion power. Uh, likely left over from the conglomerate conflicts long ago, somehow still operational. The device is blackened and shriveled, surrounding Christian the teacher's innards, clearly causing the inevitable demise of the juggernaut. The device has fused to the creature and is now worthless, but the crew manages to extract all the fusion batteries which still retain their charge. There we go. Fifteen more uh, power batteries uh, holders. Okay. We'll continue. You realize the remains of several rogue AI units seem to have been attacked recently. The dozer comes to halt you just more. Approaching this scene, you discover a rogue a number of rogue AI units that must have been in a skirmish with a clutch of brutal marauders. Judging from the scores, rocks and broken bludgeons in the area. Many of the AI have been partially dismantled. One critically damaged unit in a heap of mangled metal addresses you. Grip, grip, acknowledgement, carbon beings. These units were engaged by grip, click, a hostile meat form designation, King Vesara. Exhibition note with notable ferocity. This unit irreparable. Shutdown process complete. Ejecting power cores. Thanks. <laughs> Dumbass. He just give me his free power cores. Our crew, our crew is getting a little low. Mix of thundering gunfire and ghastly howl, beastly howls. Cresting a rocky hill, the crew discovers a quartet of warrior women with impressive weapons and outlandish hairstyles. Greetings to you, brave travelers. We are the. Astoria, sworn protectors of the Tesruscus as it navigates the voids. Whoa, as we are th thwarting an attempt incursion by invading scatters. We're seized by the sudden dimensional bleed and unceremoniously deposited in this realm. Oh, that sucks. Wanna come on board? They joined. Uh, great. Okay. Let's head to the objective. Oh. Uh, ahead on the sign, you see some kind of structure. A large sign made of scrap metal reads, Giga's Guzzle. Guzzoline? Like from Mad Max? Outside the establishment, a number of different vehicles and beasts, along with various members of factions, are surprisingly not killing each other. Entry established to find various battle dungeons drinking concoctions beside Marauders, Burnt Cybers, even Rogue AI. Oh my fucking, look at this guy. God damn it, that is a caricature if I've ever seen one. Oi, travelers, you must be the trappage we've heard about. Traveled across through the big chaos and making King Vishra roll in the process. Oh, excuse me, what's this place about? I'm wondering why nobody's trying to murder on each other, eh? Everyone in the big chaos knows this place is built on a live protovolic giant gigabomb left over from before the Baron Age. And it triggers twitch round here and the whole place gets created. Keeps everyone real civil. I'll have a drink. You and the crew have a drink and take a few minutes to enjoy the relative peace while the spirits take effect. Soon after, you and your crew stumble back to the dose of the vehicle wheezes down the road, leaving the drinking establishment behind. Okay. Those drives were something in the road, causing a noisy discharge. An AI EMP mine has incapitated the dozer. Ah, oh, fuck. Unexpected incursion of meat forms in external matrix. Big sponge process initiated! Okay. Let's take the same dudes. How we doing? We've got a couple people that could do with a kill. If that sniper gets a kill, he'll be a level 3, or a veteran rather, that'd be good. I'll give him 3 kills. Mm. 
Oh. So we've got a Jedi and a gunslinger and a sniper. So I'm going to run up on this gunslinger if I can. Probably don't want to move too much further than that, really. We're going to send our other shield guy to fight their shield guy. And hopefully our shield guy can hold their shield guy while our sniper shoots him. We want to be careful with this guy because he'll get the free reaction shots that I've warned you guys about. So... Ugh, those fucking hurt. They fucking hurt. Okay. It's gonna have to be it. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's a shotgun or not a uh, sniper. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was good. Six. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. She's dead. Ah, he's dead, too. Okay. Well, I can kill two of them, at least. Ooh, veteran for him. Nice. Yeah. A miss! Holy shit, I'd never seen that before. Okay. Fuck! Now I'm missing like crazy! Oh, for fuck's sake. He must have used some sort of bonus thing. Ow! It must be if I'm far enough, enough away, they can't reaction shot. Attention, meat forms! Beep! You have shot my arms and legs off! <laughs> you monsters! Okay, let's uh, try to gather some stuff around here before we go for that relic. Crew just bubbled up from a polluted lake. Oh, it is possible to repair the machine long enough to collect some floating crude. Okay. Several barrels of crude collected from the surface before the lakes before the trawler's hull begins to leak. Five power cells for eighty-eight crude. Pretty good. That's a nice that's a nice deal. We're just sitting on power cells for fucking days here. Panic nomads. Okay, we've seen this one before. Suffered injuries from energy weapons. Uh-huh. And here we go again. So we're just going to dump this guy out. Ah, so we've got Voda, Tashi, and Zora, who are uh, from the nomads, are the uh, ladies that we picked up. Um, wow. Okay. Let's take Zora. Should we just go with the veteran team? Why not? How many kills does this guy have? None. Okay, great. Well, just throw him in there then. And you already have one. Oh, we can level up, uh, what's your fucking name? Gizarium. We're gonna give him another health square. That's quite good. So, this will, I don't know if this is a bug, but it'll just keep saying level up there. Um, so yeah. We're gonna go with Croxit, Croctoxabot, Croctoxabot? We're gonna go with that guy. He seems nice. <laughs> Quiet phone. Turn on busy. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Oh, so we've got two dead eyes, three dead eyes. Shit. Okay. You have a little bit of a sniper battle here, then I guess. I don't want to get too close. Don't want to get too close. Certainly not. Certainly not. But then we can run our these guys like right in, and they can get up in the business of these fucks teach him what for. Oh, confused. 
That guy's throwing a grenade of some description. No skin off my anus. It's fine. Can we get a shot on anybody here? What if I... Ah. Oh, nice. Okay, maybe we can... Aha! Excellent. Take a step back. Oh, those are cool guns. Okay. And... Mmm. Choices. It was worth it to get that one guy eliminated. Oh. No, please! Oh, okay. That was a waste of your life. Ow. Oh, that was a lot of damage. I think we can probably finish this guy if you get... Come on. Yeah. Fucking beautiful. Alright, we're gonna heal this guy up. It could cost us a little bit of meat. Not very much, though. I didn't even need it. It was fine. Oh, no. I didn't realize she was that hurt. Okay. Nice. Now, if he's dumb... Yeah, excellent. Oh, she didn't reaction fire. So who's got kills? You've got zero, five, two. So if you can kill him... Fuck. Nice. Revel up. So now we'll go for this. Oh, this could cost us. We'll see. Uh, checking my phone. Ha, you insolent mortals will never locate the mythical Aztec city without the map in my possession. My finest for furious fighters will stop at nothing to protect it. I wasn't reading anything else. Okay. So Crocs a Hooter Waterbot could level up. So we'll dump out them. We'll take just just oh he's already in okay cool. I don't think we want a trencher for this. We're gonna want range and stuff. We'll take the frontliner we've got. She's quite strong frontliner actually. And we'll take oh he's already in. Got him. I'm paying attention. I swear. All right. We'll take six kill er. So now there's going to be a big badass, right? And like his little friend, whatever it is. Like some sort of monster or like a robot. Because um, these boss battles are all similar. But they get more and more units appear. Oh, he's already actually pretty pretty high level. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our shield guy. We're going to run up here like this. Yeah, we want to launch our nuke. There we go. Badass. Yeah, it was. And that's done a fuckload of damage just right off the bat, which is what you want. And we're going to focus fire on this dude on the right first. And then we'll go for the, the guy on the, uh, the left. We could drop another nuke right here. Um, oh no, I guess we can't. So no, we can't do that. Two damage, jeez. Seven, that was much better. Uh, oh yeah. She, oh, she can probably take the hit. Yeah, because this guy can't shoot anybody. All right. Yep, she's fine, and she can kill him probably. Ooh. Don't throw up on him. Nice. Tank out down. Just gonna back up a little bit. You are gonna get healed, because holy shit. Uh oh. Can't 
Can you get over here? Oh, yeah, okay. Nice. Yes! Oh, that was a beautiful round. Next time, he's gonna bring bigger guns. Yes, Gezzers. We didn't lose anybody in that boss battle. Bah, the map is worse without the other powerful items I possess. Your fortuitous performance will not be repeated. The ruthless minions of King Vistra will not fail to protect my remaining relics. Your required map. Beep. Oh my god. So, uh, doing pretty well here. Um, I'm gonna cut this video here, um, and I'm just gonna make this a one-shot. Um, but if you guys want to see more... Do let me know. Um, this is a cool game. I wouldn't mind playing a little bit more of it. Maybe finish this campaign and see, see how far I get. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!